Hello and welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and this is a review of a nib really today. It is the Conklin Duragraph and, and I really do like the pen and this trim and the special edition and everything, but I really bought the pen for what lurks inside. I had always heard hit and miss things about Conklin's nibs and their pens and so I had just always steered away from them. And then last year, uh, at a time when I was probably like you, looking to, you know, do a pandemic by, uh, they they announced they were going to start using Yovo nibs. I like Yovo nibs. I like stub nibs. And of course, in the Duragraph, you can get stub nibs as well as that Omniflex nib, which I still haven't done. And uh, I thought, you know, I think I'm going to try it because Yovo is good. Their stub nibs are good. And I really kind of liked, usually wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought, but this one I do. Uh, I liked the matte black and the rose gold trim on their 2020 special, 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 special edition. And wow, <laughs> the coffee is either not working or working too well today. Anyway, I kind of liked it. And so I got it. And now I'm going to share it with you. And before I go back into another tongue tie, let's just flip the camera and, and look at the pen. Okay, so first things first is the box. And as you can see, this was a numbered pen, and I bought it really late in the game, didn't I? But that's okay. Uh, the box is really quite nice. It comes in this dark blue cardboard sleeve, and then it really is a nice box. As you can see, it has that Conklin logo and stitching, and it's, you know, I'm, I'm not much of a box person, but, you know, I thought for... Uh, Compared to other pins in this price range, that's a pretty nice presentation. Nice if you're giving it as a gift, I think, especially. Okay, so then we open up the box, and it has uh, a nice padded box, all that stuff. <laughs> I don't have good words for all of this. It's, it's soft. It's padded. I don't know what to tell you. It's got a logo, and then it has a pin. That's really all I'm interested in anyway, is the pin. We'll set it aside, though, for a second because there are things I want to show you. You pull this up, and down in the bedding of the box, you have actual things. You have like actual things. You have fountain pen refill instructions. You have a little bit about their collector's club and a warranty. Hey, Parker, are you paying attention? You have all that in there. You have two cartridges, and I believe that is what it came with. Um, I don't think that I ever actually used any of the cartridges. And why? Why would that be? Why would I not have used even a single cartridge? Let's jump to it. When you open up this pen, which takes, let's see here, one. Oh, hey, look at that. Barely over one. Turn, and then you open up the barrel. We'll get to all the other details here in a second. You get, look at that. You get a converter. So I know there are a lot of people who say bad things about Conklin from time to time in their reviews. They won't buy them. And yeah, and I get it. Some of the history and the issues, I totally get that. But there are some things that was nice packaging. It had what it needed to have inside, and it even came with a cartridge. Now, it is a screw-in, uh, or excuse me, a converter. It is a screw-in converter, so that makes it somewhat proprietary. But it came with a converter and it takes international cartridges so it's off on those things to a good start but as i said that's not even why i bought the pin so you have those things you have this metal section and the resin grip put that barrel back on and uh, it is a matte finish and the 2021 edition 2021 edition is also a black mac finish but it has that rainbow metal thing that's that's apparently it's the 21 21 thing uh and it says let's go ahead and zoom in on that stamped into the barrel is duraflex and limited edition and the number of the pen it has really nice rose gold trim which is most of what that the matte black and the rose gold trim is what makes this something of a special edition and it looks good it has it here next to that false end cap and the matte feels really good in the hand the weight is nice it's very balanced especially on posted but it's very balanced posted as well and then you have that number six nib, which is a black nib, and a Yovo nib, and a stub nib, and a number six. It has a lot of things really going for it. With that Conklin logo, 
there in Toledo, Ohio, where their company was founded and based. And then a, a plastic feed, not surprising, that's nearly everybody these days, a plastic feed. I do really like the nib, and I'll show you in the uh, writing test why. But I, I just find it to be a really nice writing Yovo stub nib. And I, it's not the only Yovo nib I have. I don't even think it's the only Yovo stub, but it is really good. I like it, and I think that black is striking with the rest of the pen. And then you have the cap. Go ahead and put that back on. We're kind of going backwards today. And you have this nice rose gold uh, trim ring here with Conklin on that. See, I, my lighting's a little bit busy today for you to be able to see that very well. It's a little, little shiny. It's but there you go. And then the clip, also rose gold. No surprise there, right? Very stiff. That is a stiff clip, but because of the design, it still goes in and out the pocket very easily. And then Conklin is written at the top, established in a year I can't read with my glasses, but very nicely done. The only uh, caveat I have on this finish, because even though uh, the special edition is different this year, this would be the same, is I did notice there was just a little mark right there, uh, just kind of a wear mark that I don't know if I did that in unpacking or if that was in manufacturing. I think matte, kind of t matte resin tends to uh, accumulate those kinds of things in regular use, although I really haven't added to that much. But I do like the finish. The finish is nice. It does uh, make for a good grip of the pen, and it looks good. It's not a fingerprint magnet, and uh, there you go. That's the appearance of the pen, which I like. Very familiar. It's in that you know Parker Dual Fold class of pens, and so if you're a fan of those, you'll be a fan of this design. And uh, so far, I do really like this pen. Okay, so... I'm, it does post securely. I didn't show you that, but it makes for a baseball bat sized pen. So most of the time, I don't do that. This is again the Conklin Durograph. And it is a number six. Uh, almost forgot to write the number six. 1.1 stub. And that is a Yovo nib. Which, that matters to a lot of you. I'm sure of that. Uh, but before I tell you what the ink is, some of you probably already guessing that. Let's just put a bunch on there. And that's the wetness for the pen. Uh, so, you know, kind of middle of the road. You will notice that that is a well-stained finger because this is a Roshizuku and Konbeki. Now, uh, one great thing about any stub is you do, of course, just get natural line variation. And uh, that's, for me, I mean, that's the draw, right? Is, you know, I always only put three on that first one. Have any of you picked up on that before? I only notice in editing. It's kind of funny. But it gives you different widths just by nature. You don't have to master a flex pen, although stubs have their own, you know, uh, learning curve and things like that. So... It gives you a, a variation just naturally that is maybe le a little less temperamental. And some of them do have sweet spots. Some have a little sharper edges than I think they ought to. Uh, this doesn't have either of those. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're still learning to do. I think as you can hear... It's just very smooth, well finished, I think, and uh, I'm really not trying too hard to bring out all of the variation there, but uh, just kind of writing my letters as I would normally do, because you can do that and get some if you really uh, slow down, focus, take your time, 
then you get even more consistent in your uh, in your line widths and your variation, and it's really pretty cool. And it's a neat place uh, if you're if you're just trying to get a little bit of that variation in your writing, and you're not sure about a flex nib yet. I find uh, this is a great place to start, and because you can get different widths, of course, uh, thinner and wider, and as they get wider, you can make your letters bigger and everything else. Uh, that's that's kind of helpful. So if that's something that you're into, this is great. Um, as I said, I just find that it writes very smoothly. Let's do, as I like to do these days, uh, by the way, the ink flow is fine, really, really good with this pen. But let's do a few pros and cons. Uh, let's see, I think the first pro is that it it's a well-made pen. Uh, it's I like I'm gonna put first here about the finish. I find the I can't I don't I, well I was gonna write matte. Do I even know what I'm doing? No. Why would I know what I'm doing? Uh, I'll go ahead and write that now anyway. After I've crossed out the first letter, but it does have a nice matte finish. I really like that. It looks good. Uh, and there you go. Uh, maybe it's as a con uh, the fin. Oh, I always put a plus there. Why do I do this? The finish is possibly, uh, what's the right word? I'm gonna say durability. Maybe, maybe not. Time will tell, but I would put an asterisk by it. Uh, it, it, might, it might wear because I do already have that, that little mark there by the name that I don't know where that came from. So consider that. Another pro is, honestly, it is that Yovo nib. And that's whether you're getting uh, the stub or just, you know, fine, medium, all that good stuff. They're all going to be Yovo nibs. That, for me, is a great plus. Another con, uh, I'm going to say history. Some rightfully have questions, you know, is it is it better than some of those pens that were problematic in the past? And again, time will tell, but my first impression is that this is an improvement and uh, that this the nib takes care of a lot of things, and this pen has been good. It's been reliable. I've had no issues with it whatsoever and uh, comes in nice presentation. I feel like that they made a little bit of effort here. Um, but along with that, um, I'm going to put price, and the reason I'm going to put price is because, if we're honest, there are a lot of Duragraph-looking pens. There are a lot of Parker Duofold-styled uh, pens like the Duragraph is, and uh, a lot of them come in with really beautiful resins at, at half the cost. That's just that's just real, okay? That's what's there. Maybe you don't buy those, maybe you don't want to, and that's fine because this is all you know to each his or her own. But uh, competition is good, but there is competition, and the competition is fierce. So that's that may be more of a con for uh, Conklin than for for some of you, but it's there. Um, let's see. I do like I, I do like uh, that it comes with a converter. It's the small thing, so does the competition, by the way, but it does come with one, and I appreciate that. If I'm going to rag the people who don't include them, then I'm sure going to give you credit when you do. And so those those are kind of the basic. That's not a long list, I know, uh, but it's such a, a common design. Uh, so design, I don't have a lot to talk about. The finish, I do. I like that matte finish. I like the rose gold, and so that's why I have that on the list. It does come with a converter, and that does actually, you know, that you know, I mentioned the price. Hey, that knocks off five to ten dollars off the average converter for a company like this. So that helps allay some of that and balance that out a little bit. Real quick before I wrap this up, so that is the Conklin Duragraph. This is the recently reviewed Jinhao 8802, the wood pen, uh, somewhat similar in size, but that, that Duragraph is a bigger pen than that, but a much lighter pen, probably a f you know half or less of the weight. Uh, there is the Jinhao 
X750. Even though it's rounded off, it's closer in size, but much chunkier in weight. Great pen, that one, of course. And this, this is a good candidate to put a Yovo number six uh, stub nib in as well. well. I think a lot of people are starting to do that, really. Well, not starting, they've been doing it for a while. And then there is the Platinum Preppy. Not if you had these pens, so that gives you a size comparison that I think might be able to relate to. And had this handy on the desk, the Uniball Signal. That's that's one of my favorite little pens like that. And that gives you some idea of the size of the pen. Would I recommend it? Um, yeah, I, I would if you're comfortable uh, with the price and the value and all of that because you're not getting something really uh, that is terribly unique. I think that's the hardest part on this pen, uh, if, if I were the one selling it, would be uh, this is a special edition, so that gave it a little bit uh, something a bit more unique, but the design overall is not, and it's not even one that, you know, really is original to to Conklin, really, uh, even though it's, you know, historically it's been there. So, you know, there's there's that. It has history, but not all that unique a history. It has design, but not that unique a design. So uh, if you want a Yovo nib in a pen uh, from a company with American history, well, there you go. Then I would recommend it. Uh, otherwise, uh, there, it, there's fierce competition, and some of that competition is really good. And and one of those pens I'm going to be reviewing in the next few weeks. So uh, you know, stay tuned for that. But yeah, I my experience with this particular pen has been good. It's good that it comes with a warranty. Uh, I got it at Goulet, so there's also that extra layer of uh, confidence when you buy it. So you know, you are getting something for the extra price, definitely. And uh, so I, you know, I like it. And if you like that new 2021 uh, finish and special edition, then you'll want to nab it while you still can. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I got mine. And so there is that. All right. Well, that's the pen for today. God bless you and have a great weekend.